Hello, this is Larry Van Mersbergen, the host of the Doctor Who Collectors podcast. Instead of our regular opening, I wanted to bring to your attention that recently we lost a friend and an icon from Doctor Who, and we learned of the passing of Chris Achilleos. If you don't know that name, then look to any early Target book to see the cover artwork or the inside illustrations. As much as Terence Dix, Malcolm Hulk, Jerry Davis, Ian Martyr, the authors that put the content into the Target books, it was Chris Achilleos that made them jump off the shelves. His artwork is iconic to Doctor Who. He was a friend of mine, and we were scheduled to have him on the podcast in late February, and we're sad to hear of his passing. Uh, I have uh, one of the things that I have from him is a signed uh, artwork from the cover of Day of the Daleks. It says, To Larry and the Doctor Who Collectors Podcast, Your Friend Chris. That will always be a treasured item in my in my life. And instead of our usual opening, we're going to begin with 10 seconds of silence in memory of Chris Achilleos, who died this past week. Welcome back to the Doctor Who Collectors Podcast, and a happy holiday season, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and a Happy New Year to one and all. Whoever listens to this podcast, I thank you personally for giving us this support. Uh, we are the podcast, of course, that explores the incredible world of Doctor Who collecting, those who collect, issues around Doctor Who collecting, and of course, all kinds of Doctor Who merchandise. I am Larry Van Mersbergen, your host, and I have been collecting Doctor Who now for 40 years. I opened one of the first Doctor Who stores in Chicago that exclusively served the fans. We called it Bundles from Britain, and it's renowned for our famous catalog that came out in 1986. And we're mentioned in a wonderful book that makes a great stocking stuffer. It's called Red, White, and Who, the Story of Doctor Who in America, and Bundles from Britain lives on page 384. It is written by some wonderful friends of mine, and you can find a convenient link uh, on our front page at uh, DoctorWhoCollectors.com. It'll take you to Amazon, where you can buy this book. We are not an affiliate of Amazon, and we get no money for that book, but we want everyone to have a copy. I'm very excited to say that we are part of the Direction Point Doctor Who podcast network, and you can find great Doctor Who podcasts at directionpoint.org. And if you happen to be a Doctor Who podcaster or know a Doctor Who podcaster, ask them to join today because there are no costs to join. But the benefits of an increased audience must appeal to every podcaster. You can join the ranks of Time Streams, Police Box in a Junkyard, the Doctor Who Target Book Club podcast, Traveling the Vortex, and the old Doctor Who show. I listen to each and every one of those shows, and they are all high-quality, very entertaining Doctor Who podcasts. And in addition, just like the old saying goes, I'm not just a member, I'm the president and CEO of Direction Point. So if you have any concerns at all, or you want to join, or you have questions, you can reach me there at Larry at DirectionPoint.org. And speaking of other links, we always like to keep our resources uh, handy. You may already have these, but in case you're new to the podcast, these are two uh, websites you need to have. And the first one is Timelash.com and then select TARDIS Library. Uh, you can log into a free account where you can log all of your books, your vinyl records, your DVDs, your VHS tapes, your Betamax tapes, your Video 2000 tapes, your audio adventures, your big finish recordings, all for free. You can even create a want list. You can even share that want list with friends who are maybe looking for that perfect gift to buy the Doctor Who fan. That's a wonderful place to go. If you really want to look at what's out there in the world of Doctor Who collecting and merchandise, then look no further to Howe's Transcendental Toy Box at DoctorWhoToyBox.co.uk.
Of course, the purveyor of that website is David J. Howe, whose name should ring a bell with every Doctor Who collector. He is an aficionado and a curator of a Doctor Who museum. The Bundles from Britain catalog is in his museum. Uh, so uh, we always thank him for him. We've had him on the podcast before, and we'll have him again in the new year. And, of course, if you're looking for great Doctor Who items at great prices this holiday season, look no further than DoctorWhoStore.com. You don't need to write that one down. You'll remember it. Alien Entertainment has what you need. And if you happen to be in the Chicago area or greater Chicago area, visit their three-storefront store in downtown Lombard on Main Street. You can't miss it with the big diamond Doctor Who logo in the window. In addition to, of course, all of our podcasts uh, posted on our website, um, you can also uh, find uh, information on the complete guide to Doctor Who classic hardcover books. We are slowly developing this into an actual publication, and it may have to be an unofficial one because getting the rights to cover artwork is very difficult, and we don't want to steal anything from from those people, especially um, my friend, the late Chris Achilleos or Alistair Pearson or uh, Andrew Skilleter. We don't want to take anything from those folks, but we want to educate and give something to our collecting uh, professionals out there who are looking for these amazing hardcover books that came out from 1974 to 1981 or 82, uh, actually a little later than that. Um, of course, the Doctor Who hardcovers um, mean a lot to every collector, and they started in 1974 and went all the way to 1988. The last Doctor Who hardback was, of course, Doctor Who and the Smugglers. Very few copies were printed of that one, in addition. It's one of the most difficult ones to find. So we list a lot of reprints, too. There were, there were three editions of Revenge of the Cybermen and Genesis of the Daleks, although we're still waiting on proof of life of those. Um... Now that Chicago TARDIS 2021 is behind us, we are already getting the clock set for Chicago TARDIS 2022. So join us next Thanksgiving weekend 2022 in beautiful Lombard, Illinois at the Westin Hotel, where we get together as Doctor Who fans and really have a great weekend. It went by so quickly. Uh, I had some amazing um, connections there as far as my my direction point friends my other doctor who friends and of course some of the celebrities including fraser hines who sings our theme song on most episodes uh, we uh, connected with sadie miller who will be having a, our first podcast of the new year talking to her about sarah jane smith collectibles and about elizabeth sladen of course she is the daughter of elizabeth sladen and reprising the role of sarah jane smith in big finish world I also got to talk with Michael Jaston, the Valiard. What a wonderful man. And, of course, catching up with Colin Baker, the Sixth Doctor. And I've told some good stories about him. And uh, always great to have uh, to see those folks around. In fact, uh, remember um, on Saturday morning, there was a family coming into the hotel just to get a, do a getaway. And they saw a Dalek in the lobby and they happened to see me. And I said, they said, is, is something going on here? I said, yeah, you walked into a Doctor Who convention. And she says, where do I get tickets for this? And so I led them to the room and I said, well, let's see. Uh, Colin Baker is here. He's here. Really? He's here. Wow. OK, so that was great. That was just a, a walk in luck of the moment. I just love seeing Doctor Who fans get excited. So I'm honored to be, of course, the official collecting expert for Chicago TARDIS. So uh, I thank all of the people that came by for the Doctor Who collecting session. It was a big hit. I received a lot of great uh, feedback from that. And keep uh, an eye on for um, the panel next year, which might end up being a Doctor Who museum room at Chicago TARDIS. We think that might be a good idea. So if you agree... Send a quick email to the doctor, that's all together, the doctor at chicagotardis.com and suggest that we add a museum room. So there we go. Um, of course, you can hear this podcast anywhere you get your podcasts, including Stitcher Radio, Pandora, Amazon Music, and Podbean. And you can support our podcast on Podbean. Just go to doctorwhocollectors.podbean.com and select select the patron button. We're also looking into the new year of doing a special Patreon um, uh, event. If you remember in uh, episode 43, I believe it was, we did the Doctor in the Enterprise, and I talked about the sequel to that 
book, The Doctor and the Lieutenant. Well, that has never been reprinted outside of the two fanzines it appeared in, and that text is nowhere to be found online. So we are offering for the first time to do a reading of The Doctor and the Lieutenant chapter by chapter with a chapter per month. Uh, with a $25 subscription, you can hear that. If you want to get the text chapter by chapter, it'll be a little bit more. We're working on a tiered system to put that as a special promotion. Um, and of course, you know, we want to bring that to you. Uh, the dramatic reading of a very, very well, um, I, I'd say it was be an adult adventure involving the doctor and Dr. Dorsey Stevens, written by the late Gene Airy. There are no rights to be had with this story. It was never copywritten. It is fan fiction. And so we are on solid legal ground there. So after our br quick break here, we're going to have some news. We've got more news. Uh, our main story today is, of course, sponsored by Amazon.com, looking for that perfect gift for the Doctor Who fan. And that is the Doctor Who fan who is not as discerning as a professional collector. If you're buying for a professional collector, talk to them first. <laughs> Make sure that you follow all the rules. <laughs> and uh, pro, pro collectors out there, they're nodding their heads right now. And I can't see it, but I think you are. Anyway, uh, we'll also have uh, a little bit of collection protection, our most outrageous offer, Holiday Edition. Stay tuned. Hello, fellow time travelers, and welcome to the Doctor Who Target Book Club podcast, the only podcast to discuss, in story order, all the Doctor Who novelizations. My name is Tony Whip, and every two weeks or so, I'm joined by a two- to three-person discussion panel, including our so-called expert who's been a Who fan since 1979. That would be me. We also get the views of intermediate, casual, and novice fans who either have never seen the show or who have never read these books until these podcasts, including Dalton Hughes and Allison Fitzsafried. You can find us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, or wherever you find good podcasts, or even ones like ours. You are listening to the Doctor Who Collectors Podcast, a Direction Point podcast. Keep collecting. I would like to invite you to take a trip across all of time and space. Join us in the police box as we discuss the worlds of Doctor Who in a completely random order. We discuss it all. TV stories, audio adventures, novels, nonfiction books, and on and on. I'm your host, Eric Branson. I would be very happy if you'd join me for the Police Box in the Junkyard podcast. The Police Box in the Junkyard podcast is a proud partner of the Video Junkyard podcast and can be found on most major podcast platforms including SoundCloud, Podcast Addict, Stitcher Radio, Google Play, and Spotify. You are listening to The Doctor Who Collectors podcast. Up there is the scanner, those are the doors, that is a chair with a panda on it. Sheer poetry, dear boy. It's time for our main story. Uh, it is Christmas time, and so some of you who may have tuned into this episode are looking for the annual Amazon list of recommended Doctor Who gifts for the Doctor Who fan, who is not as discerning as the professional Doctor Who collector. So these products are all found on Amazon.com. Um, I will quote prices, but prices are subject to change, especially when you log in and find that it's more money or less money. That's the Amazon algorithm at work. Anyway, we're going to start off here with the Doctor Who TARDIS stainless steel water bottle with blue police box design, insulated wide mouth travel tumbler with lid. Um, that's uh, a 19.99, and you can still get that before Christmas. We have the Kurt Adler Doctor Who TARDIS with wreath light up Christmas ornament. That's been on the list before. Uh, $9.29. Uh, over 1,261 reviews with five stars, so everybody's pretty happy. You can still get that before Christmas. Um, we also have the Ripple Junction Adult uh, Doctor Who uh, Callbox Window Adult Zip Hoodie Sweatshirt. That is $49.95, and no indication on when that will be shipped. 
We have the, uh, of course, the Doctor Who Bad Wolf TARDIS Bluetooth wireless speaker lights up, plays accurate sound effects, $39.99. Um, we also have here the Underground Toys Doctor Who T41 stacking TARDIS teapot and cup set. Um, it's a square cup, so I'm, I always have trouble drinking out of a square cup. But anyway, $19.99, and you can get that before Christmas. Uh, another great thing here, we've got a pair of five set pair of Doctor Who socks. They're low cut uh, for ladies, shoe size 4 to 10, $16.95. Uh, we also have here the Doctor Who stainless steel water bottle, 17 ounce, gold TARDIS design, official Doctor Who merchandise, of course. And how about a copy of Doctor Who The Vault, treasures from the first 50 years, hardcover uh, for $44.10. Uh, if you're into the old style, old school Doctor Who, the Ripple Junction Doctor Who Vintage Adult T-shirt for $19.95. Uh, we also have here the wall clock compatible with Doctor Who vinyl record, um, $66. The Lego Ideas Doctor Who building kit. Wow. Uh, this is a little bit more for the serious uh, Doctor Who fan collector. Uh, $231.05 might even be an outrageous offer. I don't know. Um, Doctor Who TARDIS and Dalek Christmas hat, officially knitted hat, $25.98. We, of course, have the fourth Doctor long scarf for $14.99. Um, the Doctor Who signed print, all 14 Doctors canvas painting with wall art, uh, wall art poster print for living room home decor, $15.99. Uh, lots of great stuff here. We've got, of course, the Doctor Who phone charger, slim pocket sized, um, power bank with TARDIS design to a USB outlets, only $24.99. That's uh, some pretty cool stuff here. Uh, the Doctor Who 19th, uh, 13th Doctor Journal, The Future Is Not Written, hardcover diary with bookmark, $12.99. We have, of course, the Kurt Adler Doctor Who Dalek ornament set. These are the new design Daleks from the uh, from the uh, Peter Capaldi era, thirteen dollars and seventeen cents. So that is a great start to that. Of course, uh, the first Doctor ceramic 3D mug featuring the face of William Hartnell is seventeen ninety nine. Um, great stuff, you know, just a lot. If you if you like uh, Tardises, of course, we got the Doctor Who Tardis cookie jar with light and sound effects uh, when you go to get a cookie. <laughs> uh, there is, of course, a Jodie Whittaker ornament, uh, Kurt Adler. You can just find that. Uh, the Doctor Who Tardis salt and pepper shaker sets with Tardis design, $18.99. Um, TARDIS parking only. Violators will probably die in this episode. Uh, it's a TARDIS parking sign, uh, $10.49. Uh, lots of great stuff here. If, you, uh, if you're interested in a uh, collector's uh, set of the Levin Doctors 5-inch action figure collector set, it's going to cost you $243.54. So there you go. Um, later here, let's see what else that they're looking at here on the list here. Oh, and, well, we're going to finish it up here with the Underground Toys Doctor Who Sound Effects Money Bank Action Figure TARDIS Design $24.99. Lots more. Just go to Amazon.com and put in Doctor Who, and you'll be taken to another world outside of dimensions and space for all things Doctor Who, whether to books, videos, uh, and other items. So there you go. I hope everyone has a great Christmas, so get that perfect gift for that Doctor Who fan. And we'll be back in just a moment. Hi, I'm Juliet. And I'm Nathan. Experience Doctor Who from the very beginning through a classic fan's eyes. And through the eyes of a new Who fan. Reminisce and relive those classic moments with Nathan as he offers fun insight. Or experience them for the first time with Juliet as she dwells on social issues, history, fashion, and the size of a flashlight. We're the Time Streams Podcast. Find us on Spotify, Stitcher, or Apple Podcasts. You're listening to the Doctor Who Collectors Podcast. Keep collecting. Are you ready to travel through time with us? Then check out Traveling the Vortex, a Doctor Who podcast. For nearly seven years and more than 500 episodes, we've traveled from one end of the vortex to the other, making different stops with different doctors, 
reviewing everything from TV stories to audio plays, from books to comics, and more. Sean, Keith, and Glenn take you on a journey through 50-plus years of Doctor Who episodes and spinoff materials. You can find us wherever you get your podcasts, so be sure to check us out. And now, we're a proud member of Direction Point, a Doctor Who podcast network. You're listening to the Doctor Who Collectors Podcast. Keep collecting. These are Christmas hats. I've seen people use them. You put them on, and absolutely anything seems funny. Oh, probably won't work on you. Probably not. You want to try? Go on, then. Gentlemen, I've got news for you. And now we have some breaking news on the Doctor Who Collectors podcast. Uh, these news stories provided to us via press releases that come in uh, in between episodes. So we try to keep everybody informed as it happens. You may already know this, but from Big Finish, we love stories. Doctor Who license extended until 2025. So they're delighted to announce that it's licensed from BBC Worldwide to make original Doctor Who and Torchwood dramas on audio has been extended to June 20th, 2025. So uh, some forthcoming highlights from Big Finish include the return of David Tennant and Catherine Tate as the 10th Doctor and Donna Noble in the 10th Doctor Adventures. Three brand new full cast audios available. John Hurt returns as the War Doctor in four box sets. The War Doctor, Only the Monstrous, and Doctor Who, The War Doctor, Internal Devices. Currently available to buy and download. Tom Baker, Peter Davison, Colin Baker, Sylvester McCoy, and Paul McCann regularly record new adventures alongside their television companions. Alex Kingston returns as River Song in The Diary of River Song, and also Gemma Redgrave and Ingrid Oliver play Kate Stewart and Osgood in the action-packed unit, the new series. The audio adventures of Torchwood were launched to great acclaim in September 2015 based on the popular spin-off series by Russell T. Davis. To date, the series char- uh, stars John Barrowman, Eve Miles, Gareth Lloyd, David Lloyd, Kai Owen, and, Na- and Naoko Mori. And they have all returned to their roles in 2016 and 2017. We'll see many exciting developments. So you can explore Big Finish's entire range of Doctor Who and Torchwood titles on the website at bigfinish.com. And you can, of course, subscribe to the Big Finish newsletter and don't forget to tune in to the Big Finish podcast, usually released every Sunday. Uh, Also for immediate release, Titan Books. Spider-Man writer Dan Slott makes his Doctor Who comic book debut with Titan. Very exciting. Titan Comics is thrilled to announce that Eisner Award-winning writer Dan Slott will pen three separate annual Doctor Who comic book one-shots. Dan's 2022 special will feature the 10th Doctor and companion Martha Jones and will hit the stores in April. So watch our website uh, around April. We will have links to for you to buy these directly from Titan Publishing and uh, make sure that you get a hold of these first. So very excited that uh, it says we're totally fired up that Dan is bringing his incredible knowledge and lifelong enthusiasm for Doctor Who to be writing a story that will lead into a year long chapter for our favorite Time Lord. And so that's from the publishers at Titan Comics. So um, be sure that, uh, of course, you will be able to get these directly from us through our sponsor at Forbidden Planet. Very important stuff there. Uh, You have been listening to Breaking News. Sad, Red, isn't it? People spend all that time making nice things and other people come along and break them. And now it's time for Collection Protection Holiday Edition. Uh, Of course, our our sponsor, Bags Unlimited at bagsunlimited.com, 1-800-767-2247. Right on their front page of their website, they have a great link there for holiday gift ideas. And so we're just going to highlight one area of that, and that's your audio and vinyl record collector ideas. Lots of Doctor Who records. If you have the sound effects record or the collection sets or any of the new vinyl that's came came out from Big Finish, They have some wonderful kits here that include a lot of different things. So the audio kit for 12 inch LP records, uh, you get a you get two record boxes. You get 100 poly pro sleeves and 10 dividers at 25 percent off for a total of fifty seven dollars. The audio kit for 45 RPM records, you get two boxes, you get 50 paper sleeves and 10 dividers. And of course, if you're if you're you know not necessary for the Doctor Who collector here, but for the audio file, uh, the audio kit for the 10 inch slash 78 records, they have a kit here for two boxes, a 50 paper sleeves, and six box dividers for fifty three dollars. 
You can find out more at bagsunlimited.com. That's bagsunlimited.com, 1-800-767-2247. Anything can be protected, and make sure you protect your collection. All my travelings throughout the universe, I have battled against evil, against power-mad conspirators. I should have stayed here. The oldest civilization, decadent, degenerate, and rotten to the core. Power my conspirators, Daleks, Sontarans, Cybermen. They're still in the nursery compared to us. Ten million years of absolute power. That's what it takes to be really corrupt. And now it's time for my favorite part of the program, the most outrageous offer. So for this holiday season, we have a good one for you. Um, this was sent to me and then was investigated and... Uh, Turns out it probably is a little bit outrageous because it's actually presenting, preventing a problem from the originator of this item from selling it because they're waiting to see what happens with this sale. Now, this sale has been apparently going, been going on uh, for quite some time. It's, an, it's on eBay. So it, what it is is the Doctor Who Chicago TARDIS 2004 poster signed by the cast um, of the 40th anniversary celebration. So, uh, looking at the, uh, the specifics here, it's, um, it's signed by Michael Shirt, Annika Wills, India Fisher, Fraser Hine, Lars Pearson, and Jason Hay Gallery. Now, uh, just looking at that list, I think everybody on that list is still alive and well. So those autographs are not necessarily, um, hard to come by or, or rare for that matter. Um, this is a poster that, uh, of course, originated from Chicago TARDIS. That would be Alien Entertainment, uh, one of one of our good friends and uh, sponsors. So uh, the seller is Absolute Comics and Statues. They have a ninety nine point nine positive feedback on eBay with twenty six thousand one hundred seventy two ratings. So not necessarily a bad seller. Um, but here's the deal: here they're offering it for a buy it now price of $2,499.99. That seems a bit much. Um, also, um, when we added this to our watch list a while back, we received an offer from the seller for $900. Now, that's a huge difference between the $2,500 and the $900. I'm still thinking $900 is a bit much. I'm, I'm guessing, my guess is about 500 would be about right for this particular poster because it's not exactly a poster that is hard to come by necessarily. Signed by the cast, perhaps that may have been something that was done by a, a person uh, or it was something that was auctioned off by Alien Entertainment themselves. I don't know exactly the history, but um, I perceive this to be a most outrageous offer. So you can still find this uh, online. I'm going to place the link uh, on our website. So after you listen to the podcast, just go to DoctorWhoCollectors.com and click on the episode that we just did. And I always have a link there to the most outrageous offer. If that link doesn't work, it means that it's been taken down. And sometimes that happens within a day. So I don't know if that's going to affect this seller or not. I don't know if they're a listener or someone's going to alert this person. Hey, you know, you just been listed on the most outrageous offer. That happens sometimes, but that's okay. That's why we do this. I mean, we want to make sure that uh, Doctor Who collectibles can be had for reasonable prices. So that is collection. That is the uh, collection protection. I just did that a little while ago. So this is why uh, <laughs> it helps to have a script. But that's OK. Anyway, this is a this is a this is a amateur podcast. So we do this as we do it. Anyway, this is the most outrageous offer. The Doctor Who Chicago TARDIS 2004 poster signed by the cast, which is a cast of people who are actually regular attendees at Chicago TARDIS. I've, I've met Annika Wills, uh, Fraser Hines and Jason Hay Gallery. I know they come frequently. Um, and of course, shipping and handling charges. I didn't even see here what that was about. Twenty two dollars and eighty three cents. And if you order it today, you'll get it after Christmas. Um, but that's um, this is a bit much. And uh, the, the poster looks like it's in good shape. You know, it's framed. Uh, so, I mean, and it looks like not the entire uh, cast signed it because uh, Maggie Stables hasn't signed it. Uh, Bill Baggs, Arnold T. Bloomberg um, and Colin Baker are all missing from that uh, Although, wait, no, I see Colin Baker's signature on there, but I don't see all the others. 
So that's that's something to be had as well. So anyway, that is our most outrageous offer. If you see an, a most outrageous offer, in other words, a Doctor Who collectible or item that seems priced a bit high, we still haven't anybody matched our million dollar calendar yet, but the, you know that could happen in the new year. Anyway, I also want to thank you for listening. Uh, this wraps up the episode for our holiday season for the Doctor Who Collectors Podcast. I want everybody to have a safe and happy holiday season. Um, please be safe around loved ones. Please uh, take care of your health. Make sure that you stay safe. Uh, the pandemic is still ongoing at this at this recording, so uh, make sure you stay uh, stay safe. So with that, uh, I'm Larry Van Mersberg and your host. This is a Direction Point Podcast Network. You've been listening to the Doctor Who Collectors Podcast. Keep collecting. Doctor Who Podcast Network.